Video games. A long time ago, a guy named Ralph made this little box called Odyssey that had two little boxes that controlled squares on a, another box. 50 years later, and some minor adjustments, Rudolph's little box became a billion dollar industry thanks to the Japanese. Okay, let's restart. What the fuck? I'm stronger, I'm smarter, I'm better, I am better! <laughs> What you're seeing is advanced warfare. Welcome to the wonderful world of modern gaming. In my last video, I talked about movie theaters and how they've turned into such a huge scam. Two people subscribed, 80% of you didn't. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Have I failed to entertain you? Thanks to the internet, people have the ability to share their opinions. Some valid, some aren't, and some are just straight up fucking stupid. And it's here to make us care more about Sarah, but I really didn't. Partially because of the race yeah, swap. Wow. It's just that her face is so fucking distracting. She doesn't look like a normal human being. She is very good! To me. In today's video, I'm going to recap on what's been going on in the games industry, because, you know, this is a gaming channel. But first, I'd like to make an announcement. What is it? Crowdfunding is when lots of people give you small amounts of money to help your passion project come to life. If you want to get your name listed off in the next video, consider picking up a Patreon tier. Every dollar you give will go towards these videos, paying for the equipment, the games, even paying Mark for editing the opening. Anything helps, and if you can, it's greatly appreciated. Anyways, back to the video. In the last eight years, game companies have made a disgusting amount of money, and they're on track to make billions more in the next two. EA, Activision, Apple, I know you sons of bitches at Apple are trying to break into the gaming market again, so I'm not excluding you. Just for the record, I'm doing this on Final Cut Pro Apple, please don't kill me. Gaming is nowhere near dying. A few weeks ago, I spent the weekend at my cousin's cottage where all we played was Smash and Demon Souls, and it was fun. Gaming isn't dying, the market is just oversaturated. Let's look at Xbox for a minute. Since Microsoft pretty much runs the world, they have the ability to give Xbox blank checks. And unlike EA, who buys a studio then murks it after Angry Joe yells at you, Are you out, are you out of your mind? They put it on Game Pass. They bought Zenimax for $7.5 billion. They bought Mojang for $4 billion, and Rare for $400 million. Why did they buy these guys? It's because GoldenEye is the shit, everyone loves Minecraft, and Call of Duty has you fighting terrorists for America. All these guys had potential, but recently, that potential died. Rare was forced to make shitty Kinect games, and Activision is stuck making Call of Duty. Hi, so, um, quick editor's note. When I said that uh, these companies lost their potential, I meant that more about Activision Rare and Bethesda, not really Mojang, because Mojang is like, they only make Minecraft. Also Rare, because they're also making Sea of Thieves and working on that. And also Starfield, a lot of people tend to like Starfield, so... Now that Xbox is pretty much owning almost all of the gaming world, Sony is cowering in the corner scared, holding whatever IPs they have left, creating its own Game Pass and raising its prices. PS Plus Premium is a different breed. Unlike Game Pass, which focuses more on quality, Sony decided to focus more on quantity and even ported an SNES game. I don't know what Sony's cooking and honestly, I'm not here for it. Game remasters have been around since the 1990s, but they've never felt this invasive before. In 2013, The Last of Us was released to critical acclaim. Then in 2014, The Last of Us Remastered was released to critical acclaim. Then in 2022, The Last of Us Part 1 was released... Okay, what the fuck? The reason why these remakes and remasters keep getting spammed out is simply because we keep buying them. So what incentives do they have to stop? Instead of making something new, every single franchise keeps hitting the reset button because God forbid someone creates something new. And why create new shit when you can just put your old shit on Fortnite as well? Ever since the Fortnite Battle Pass came out, everyone stopped giving a shit. Instead of making your own game, just port your character onto Fortnite and collect the royalties. I wasted $3,000 on Warzone, and now they want me to pay to play as Laura Croft in three different games that aren't Tomb Raider. Just make a new Tomb Raider game! The only way to make consistent money is to have a trusting reputation with your fan base. CD Projekt Red made good games, then they promised the world. You're breathtaking! I pre-ordered their new game, and it was crap. I pre-ordered Hogwarts Legacy, and it was crap. I pre-ordered MW2, and... Okay, you get the picture. D don't buy this game. Pre-ordering is basically hoping that what you're gonna get is gonna be good. Just like what's happening with the movie industry. I pre-ordered MK1 because Mortal Kombat has been the fucking tits and rarely disappoints. I'm not the biggest fan of MK1, but I'll admit, it's way more polished than these other games I've pre-ordered. But it's not worth the 150 to get Homelander early. Hey, so um, I don't know how to finish this video because I was running out of time to make it. I'm trying to keep a good schedule, but balancing work, school, and YouTube, it's been very hard. Also, I'm in college, so you know, that's been a very big thing for me. And also, so um, I got a new laptop for school, so I have, you know, much more planned for the future. I'm trying to keep a consistent bi-weekly schedule, but still, please hit the bell button so you can be notified for every video release. Anyways, be sure to like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe. Now, get the fuck out of my sight before I demolish you.